In 2013, President Obama said, 3D printing has the potential to revolutionize the way we make almost everything. Indeed, 3D printing has become a technology that will change the way we produce things. However, there are still challenges that prevent 3D printers entering the industrial landscape. Black Belt 3D has addressed these challenges and completely started from scratch to redefine the fused filament fabrication technology. We are proud to present you the Black Belt industrial production platform. But what is so special about this new printer? Hi, my name is Stefan Schürmann. I'm inventor and industrial design engineer. The past two years, my job was to apply 3D printing to industrial applications, but limiting factor was always how the existing technology works. That's why I have developed the Blackboard. This new patent pending technology is not only capable of manufacturing very long products with unsupported overhangs, but also do mass production right away, which is a breakthrough in terms of 3D printing. Imagine what you could be producing with this new production technology. Together with selected experts in metal conversion and assembly technology, we have engineered a production-ready machine using industrial quality parts. This is not just a concept. We have developed a market-ready machine that is tested and ready for production. We have decided to launch on Kickstarter to be able to finance the first production run and to develop a user-friendly slicing software that goes along with the Black Belt 3D printer. This is why we are reaching out to support our project, allowing you to become the first in your industry branch applying this state-of-the-art disruptive technology. Hi everyone, Matt here with the Thingybot Delta 3D printer. The Thingybot Delta was designed with usability and print quality in mind, and I believe it really delivers on that. It features a magnetic effector and runner system that mean it has basically no backlash in the joints compared to other deltas which have a little bit of wiggle room in the joints and everything. The magnets make it so that it's nice and smooth and what that means for the printed parts themselves is that there's not going to be any stuttering in it. It's going to have high quality smooth, smooth walls that mean that it basically looks like it's a cast part. And that is really hard to find on 3D printers, especially at this low price. Now, you can print all different things on it, obviously. You can use different filaments and stuff. But the standard version is built around using PLA filament, and that is because it does not have a heated bed. The Thingybot uses 1.75 millimeter filament. And if you want to use different materials like ABS or nylon or some other exotic filaments that need a heated bed, you can get the Plus model which will also upgrade the hot end to an E3D V6 rather than the light 6 that comes on the standard one. And that means you can go to higher temps and everything. You can go up to 300 degrees Celsius with that. Now, some other features of the thingy, thingy bot is auto calibration. Now, what that means is that once you build a delta, you usually have to calibrate it so it's not bowed or anything. And so that when the hot end is, when this arm is down here, it's not in the wrong spot or anything, and that's sort of the simple way to explain it. But you basically do that by adjusting the end stop offsets, which is done with a screw traditionally or digitally in the firmware itself. And that takes hours to do right. But with the Thingybot, it comes with a special version of Marlin firmware that has auto calibration in it. And that uses this probe right here, which senses the aluminum, it's an induction sensor to sort of find the points that need to be adjusted, it'll adjust it automatically. And that is with a simple command. Now that is if you have to fix a part or if you build one yourself because it is open source and you want to calibrate it easily, you can just use this or you can do it the traditional way. But this is much easier, much more user friendly. Now, like I said, it uses standard components like NEMA 17 motors, eight millimeter shafts with bearings and everything is pretty much readily available. And what that means is that it's not going to be a super difficult 3D printer to build and the Kickstarter project will have one less thing to sort of deal with. Now, as you probably know in the past, some 3D printer projects have sort of failed because they use too many custom components, too many custom things that need to be made and assembled somewhere else and then shipped to them and they're not right or something like that. That's not going to be the case here. The only custom component that is made out of 
out of my hands is the case, which is made an hour away. So it's not like I won't have control over it. It's not made in China that it's going to be shipped over here. It's made right in Pennsylvania, about an hour away. It's all laser cut. Uh, it's CNC punched aluminum. It's powder coated. And uh, yeah, it just, it makes it so there's not much, there's not much risk here, really. It's all easily sourced. It's all readily available. The case is being made here. The plastic parts are being printed by me. They're easy to print and everything. They're small. And uh, yeah, so some cool features on this, some good usability features. The LEDs in the front, so much better. If you have a printer with no LEDs, you will know the, the struggle that it is to not be able to see a print, especially in an enclosed thing like this. It's really hard to see the print, see the detail, and the LEDs just shine light on how high quality the print is from this 3D printer. It has um, an easily adjustable tension on, for the belts. That's just on the bottom. You tilt it on its side, screw in a couple screws, and it's tensioned. It's, you don't have to take anything apart. You don't have to go looking for anything. It's all built with usability in mind. And that is really sort of the, the whole main thing about the thing you bought. It's easy to use, easy to jump into as your first printer, easy to use as your 15th printer. It's a great high quality printer made of metal, made in the USA, very cool, and open source. So if you want to build one yourself, you can, and I will be releasing the plans. I will release the, the DXF files for the case. I will release some templates if you want to make a wood version, which will look a little different, obviously, with joints and stuff. But I will release the files. You can buy it here, down below in the rewards, if you want. Or, um, yeah, you can build it yourself, like I said. But I think you'll want to buy it in the rewards because this metal casing is really, really nice. And uh, it's available in a few different colors. I know there's pink and white, blue and white, orange and white, and then black on black. And there's going to be more in the future, probably. Uh, but yeah, so if you have any questions about it, just ask me. I want to keep this video pretty short. Uh, you can go on my website, thingybot3d.com, or you can contact me through Kickstarter, through my email, uh, anything. Thank you, and I hope you end up backing me, because that would be really cool, and you will really like this printer. So thanks. Introducing the Proforge 3D Printer, a large metal frame 3D printer with CNC machine high density polyethylene panels. It is based entirely upon open source off the shelf parts and the design itself is also completely open source. The Proforge is designed to be easy to assemble, use and maintain as a very reliable long term 3D printer. The frame is minimal making it super easy to access all of the printer's parts. Key features include an all-metal hotend capable of 250 degrees Celsius, an inductive sensor for auto-leveling, a 50mm blow fan for part cooling giving a flawless print finish, a 3 to 1 gear boat extruder for precise control over filament feed, a beautifully housed SD card reader and LCD screen for a tetherless 3D printing experience, a 200mm squared metal heated bed at maximum print height of 240mm, an aluminium extrusion frame with white CNC machine HDPE panels, swappable tool carriage on a H-style gantry riding on brass bushings and chrome-plated stainless steel rods providing incredibly smooth, quiet and accurate motion. The cooled electronics compartment at the base of the printer houses a Ramps 1.4 and Arduino board combo running the latest version of the Marlin firmware. Dedicated ports and braided cable sleeves give the Proforge a sleek finish. Add the Octoprint upgrade for a Raspberry Pi and webcam and control the Proforge over your home Wi-Fi network. Start and stop prints and create stunning time lapses like this one. Add the enclosure upgrade for 360 degree clear acrylic panels, hinged roof and door with metal handles great for printing ABS. Expandable features are really only limited by your own imagination, but noteworthy ones include a plotter for drawing 2D images with any pen of your choice, or adding a laser engraving module and engrave images onto a variety of materials, or even with the use of a Dremel style rotary tool and flexi shaft turn the Proforge into a CNC machine for 3D milling. G code for this shape was generated using Fusion 360.
Proforge is an ideal 3D printer for anyone wanting a robust, large, reliable and open source machine, packed with high-end features and integrated support for upgrades like Octoprint or an enclosure. Also only a maximum of 150 kits will be made for this project, more information can be found below and on the website too. Thank you for your support. created the Neva, the first 3D printed 3D printer accessible to all. What's a source of inspiration, you ask? It's you, and you, and you. We have observed, collected and analysed your needs to design a smart plug and play 3D printer from your feedback. It's called the Neva. You want to know more? Come closer, here. We could tell you that it's the easiest printer to use with a single button to press but we won't. We could tell you that it will self-calibrate thanks to its auto-leveling module and that it will do it for you, but we won't. Look! We could tell you its beautiful design makes it a masterpiece in the 3D printing industry, but we won't. Follow its smooth curves. We could tell you that we are expert in 3D printing and that we print on Neva, but we won't. Let us print. We could tell you it's ready to use once out of the box, but we won't. It's plug and play. Tap tap. We could tell you it's the only 3D printer that allows you to do by color easily, but we won't. Oh, and we manufacture it locally in California. Just come and visit us. You will design, create and live the future with the Neva. At the beginning, we didn't plan to build a Goma. Actually, we were working on a foldable bike. Crazy one. Like no other. Innovation is just part of us. So in order to prototype it, we bought our first 3D printer. From this moment on, sharing the possibilities of 3D printing with everyone became our mission. Over the last two years, we manufactured and delivered over 8,000 units of our first model, the Disco Easy, ranking number one in France and in top three in Europe. Now, with the Neva, comes a new dream, becoming the number one 3D printer manufacturer in the US. This is why we need you to build this new future, a world with endless possibilities. How can we help you? And how can you help us? By taking part in our campaign, each dollar counts for us. For each backer, 
We'll print your name and have it in the entrance of Odaga Math Factory to remind us every single day how amazing Odaga community is. So you want to be part of Odago family? Become a Dago member. Everyone needs technology in their life, so let's change our world together from $299.